Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. First draft for Streets of New Capenna, part of the early access event, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Pack one, pick one, what are we gonna get? Okay, opened a pretty sweet rare with the professional facebreaker providing treasures and card advantage. So most likely gonna be my pick, but let's take a look at the rest of the pack. Got a Fairy Vandal, also pretty solid. Has some counter synergy, goes well into any of the blue decks. We've got Silencer, can be okay. Especially if we can maybe sacrifice it at some point. And then, not a huge fan of the Arc Spitter, has an equipment. We've got some okay commons. The Lanky especially, if we want some sacrifice fodder, and then Strangle. Probably the best red common, and might be one of the best commons overall. So that's definitely a close second here, I think, after Phase Breaker, which I think is still my pick. And then the Initiates, also good sacrifice fodder potentially. Maestro's Theater, nice mana fixing for blue, black, and red. But uh, I'll take a Phase Breaker, sadly passing a Strangle but we can still go into a lot of different directions with the Phase Breaker, pick one. Okay, second pack. I'm not seeing any amazing red cards necessarily. Sticky Fingers does a similar thing to the Phase Breaker, but can probably wield that. We have an Outlaw, if we want to maybe speculate on uh, Maestros a little bit. The Specialist could be okay. Red-white, I guess we might end up red-white-green, potentially. Um, just a good 3-drop, getting maybe something back from the graveyard. What else do we have? We've got a Rumor Gatherer, also good in Naya. Providing card advantage, case of joint for card draw. Join the Maestros, making some tokens. Um, I'm split between... Outlaw and Specialist. I don't think Specialist necessarily pairs all that well with our Face Breaker, even though it's individually powerful. So I'll try the Outlaw and see where we end up. Third pick. Well, we've got a Murder, always powerful. Doesn't get around shield counters, like maybe Exile effects, like By Your Silence, but it is still very efficient, instant speed. So that seems like a solid pick. Would also like Mayhem Patrol, seems like a good 2-drop in any red deck. Same with a Riveteer's Requisitioner. Just good stats at 2 mana, can be blitzed as well. Another Initiate would be okay. And what else? I guess those are the main cards I'm looking at. Light them up, eh, kind of an underwhelming burn spell. But I might play it if we get it late. So yeah, we'll take a murder and then see if we can maybe end up Maestros. Uh, the Jada's Gift, one of the weaker rares in the set, for a limited at least. So gonna pass on that. We have a bit of mana fixing with Waterfront District. Lackey would also be great if we end up with more sacrifice synergies. Although we might end up kind of black-red, splashing maybe a bit of blue, maybe splashing a bit of green for Riveteers, in which case a lackey is not really going to fit within our game plan all that well. So I think I prefer the mana fixing here. And let's see if I missed out on anything else. Stockpiles, okay. Jockey we can probably get later. Brawlers in white, not really what we're planning to do at the moment. And then some mediocre blue cards. So yeah, I think I'm okay with the District here. Next up, we've got a Riveteer's Overlook, which would be good fixing. If we're planning to maybe splash a couple of green cards. Uh, the Entourage could be a good green card to splash. Uh, Wrecking Crew is expensive at 5 mana, but has decent stats. This Daneful Stroke also seems pretty well positioned in this limited format. So we have a lot of options. Decoy, maybe not the best card on the splash, since we want to cast it early, potentially. So I would prefer Entourage over it, even though they're both fine. Or I could just take more mana fixing. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to prioritize mana fixing for now. Feels like we're going to get enough playables. And just want to make sure I have the option of splashing some green if some amazing green cards come our way. Like a Jewel Thief. That's very late. Probably the best green common. Making a treasure. Vigilance and Trample. Can allow us to splash even more cards. Would also love the Racer's Ring. And then there's a bunch of white cards we're not interested in. Another Disdainful Stroke. And another Overlook as well. Probably prefer Ring over... Overlook, but it's close. Take a Jewel Thief, and then... Yeah, maybe we might just be Riveteers. Maybe splashing a bit of blue. And a Masked Bandits seems like a perfect addition now. The Mana Fixer at common for Riveteers. And then a 5-5 Vigilance Menace afterwards. And then no amazing black or red cards left. Warm Welcome could be okay, but probably better for Cabaretti. And another Disdainful Stroke. Okay. Um, if we're gonna end up Riveteers, I wouldn't mind having access to one Gilded Pinions as an equipment. Also late Gathering Throng, if we can get multiples, could be nice, but we're not really set up to play white at the moment. Could take an Incriminate as kind of an okay removal spell. Never amazing. Um... Probably going to get more pinions and incriminates later. I'll take the pinions, I guess. Nuisance could also be good if we end up with a more sacrifice-heavy deck. Okay, so we've got lots of goodies to choose from, including a lackey, which wield. And again, great card to potentially sacrifice. Could take the initiate, which is a fine 3-drop, and then later we can get more value from it. Seems okay. Over Social Climber, in case we end up more Grixis than Junt. And we did wheel Gilded Pinions, Sticky Fingers, Swindler, mostly just a 2 mana 2-2, two -two, so not all that exciting. Um, don't know if I'll play Sticky Fingers, but maybe. Probably too late to take a Civil Servant. And to light them up wield. Yeah, probably didn't need to prioritize Gilded Pinions earlier. Take a light them up. Alright, I guess I'll take a Lackey if no one wants it. Probably no, don't need a random pump spell. Which is more meant for the token go wide deck. But happy with a Lackey if we do end up more Grixis. And a Disdainful Stroke, as well as Ominous Parcel, which is actually very good mana fixing too. I'll take a parcel. Still feels more like we're green than blue. But we could easily splash a good blue card. Okay, next pack. Open Cemetery Tampering. Could be good in a more graveyard-heavy deck. But I don't think that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Instead, I'm looking at Corrupt Court Official. Just a nice 2-drop that we don't mind sacking later. The Strong Arm could be a nice green card with Blitz, potentially drawing a card, putting two counters somewhere. There's the Glamour Thief, good in blue, black, red, if we have a lot of non-creature spells. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I think I'm leaning towards the Court Official since we're definitely playing black. It's a good two drop, we don't mind sacking it. And then I can hope to wheel either Strong Arm, maybe the Outlaw, Incriminates. So we've got a few options here. Couple black cards, Whack, minus four, minus four until end of turn. Gets better when targeting white creatures. Reasonable removal spell, which I could take here. There's another Mayhem Patrol, which I mentioned being pretty decent. Essentially attacks as a 2-2 with Menace by itself, which is not too bad. And would also play well with the Face Breaker. So maybe I prefer Patrol over Whack, but it's close. Removal is pretty important, and Whack does get around shield counters. Not too interested in shipments as a 5-mana tutor effect. Another Initiate would be okay. 
And then... Don't know how deep in blue I want to go for Wingshield Agent. Alright. What do we have here? Big score. Could be nice, giving us some treasure. And card filtering plays well with the phase breaker, as we can potentially turn those treasures into additional card advantage. Um, we have another blue-black dual land, although currently doesn't look like we're necessarily splashing. Uh, deal gone bad, kind of a slightly different version of whack, only minus three, but it is an instance. Glittermonger could also be quite solid, making multiple treasures. So it's between probably Glittermonger and Big Score. Don't know if Broken Wings is going to be quite main deckable in this format, but possible that it will be. Okay. Another Court Official and Strangle. Probably have to take Strangle now. But would love another Court Official, and then we can certainly start picking up some uh, cards that require us to sacrifice, like the uh, Light em Up with Casualty 2. Although, I guess Court Official only one power, so we would need cheaper casualty effects. But yeah, another Whack and Strangle. We'll take the cheaper card for now. But uh, yeah, they're both pretty decent. Another big score would be nice. Not huge on the Express, but does potentially play well with Treasures. Okay. Could take a Forge boss now. Plays well with Blitz creatures and other sacrifice effects. And a 3 4 still reasonable stats. And then Runer, we could maybe get later. Not too exciting. Plasma Jockey with Blitz has a couple synergies in our deck too now. And then there's some blue cards like Little Chat with Casualty 1, which honestly we could still be more blue than green at this point. So, if we get more of those casualty cards, I could pivot. And this pack offers another lackey. People really don't seem to pick those up. I think they're quite good. We've got Initiates in red. Can gain Death Touch, always powerful. And can go wrong with more 2-drops. So I think I'll go with the Initiate here. But a lackey is certainly tempting. Okay, got another Districts, or a Maestro's Theater. I guess we'll take a Maestro's Theater, which is kind of like a, a dual land, even if we don't splash blue. Public Enemy can be interesting. Definitely one of the trickier cards to evaluate. Alright, got a red-green dual land, although Girder Goons I think is an excellent common, and I'm certainly going to take it here. Scrivener seems like a bit of a difficult card to build around properly, so not going to prioritize it. Another Initiate would be fine, but uh, Girder Goons, even for 4 mana when we blitz it, leaves behind a 2-2 token, draws a card. Seems excellent. We did wheel Incriminate, Outlaw still here. And a high-rise sawjack if we want some protection against flyers could be okay. Although not necessarily a card I'm excited to splash. So maybe I'll take the outlaw and we can still maybe splash some blue. Antagonize as a pump spell. Can take shipments. But I don't think I'm playing it. It's not like we have any incredible bomb we want to search up. Maybe take a case to joint as card draw if we're going to play a bit of blue. Alright, take a dual land, or could take the Glittermonger as well to combo with our face breaker. It's another close call here. I guess we'll take the green card. A big score wheel, that's nice. So we do have quite a bit of treasure synergy now. And we did wheel a little chat think it's probably better than Ruiner, even though I'm less likely to play it. 
And all right, a lackey wield as well, so maybe I should just be Grixis after all. We did open one of the weakest rares, I think, Structural Assault. Does have synergy with treasure tokens to potentially increase its damage, but still not a card I'm excited to first pick. Uh, what else do we have? Another Murder, always good. Dusk Mangler could be a nice curve topper. Can maybe ramp into it with our treasures. So that's a card I wouldn't mind wheeling, although difficult to pass up on Murder. And then there's some good red cards, Roastmaster, Magician, both probably better in Cabaretti than Riveteers. Silencer's also decent. So a couple good options. Paragon would also be a nice one to wheel if we're playing four colors. But I'll take Murder. Ooh, Hostile Takeover, that's certainly worth splashing. Potential Board Wipe. Passing Mayhem Patrol, unfortunately, would be a nice 2-drop to have. Um, nuisance, good casualty card to combo with Lackey. But uh, take take over here. And then can maybe Wheel, Patrol, another case to join. There's another Whack. There's a lot of good options. What's next? Echo Inspector, also good synergy with Lackey, as something we don't mind discarding to connive, and then a reasonably large flyer. Witness Protection as removal is okay, but still leaves behind a 1 1, and I feel like we have quite a bit of removal already. Probably don't need to prioritize it. A veteran could also be good sacrifice fodder. I think I still prefer Inspector. And then hoping to wheel maybe Veteran, maybe some of these other cards. Okay. Riveteer's Charm. Tempting. Uh, Custodian, just to find two drop in black. And then dig up the body for a bit of recursion. We don't have a ton of card draw, so wouldn't mind a bit of creature recursion. Especially when we have some expendable creatures. Riveteer's Charm would be on the splash, since at this point I think I'm just blue, black, red. And I don't have a huge incentive to go green. Like Jewel Thief is excellent if we can play it on turn 3, but a lot less exciting on the splash. So if I were more green, probably take Strong Arm here. Bandit's also good, Pummeler. So a lot of good green cards, but in black we have a Demon's Dew, probably not super needed when we have Case the Joint, even though I think Demon's Dew is better. But there's also Dusk Mangler, and since we're making a bunch of treasure, I could see the advantage of having a, a nice expensive 7 drop to curve into. But uh, yeah, a lot of options there. Okay, what do we think of Horde Hauler? Uh, not the most exciting vehicle necessarily. Kind of expensive to crew. Uh, there's another Initiate, another Lackey. Even the Obscura Initiate could be okay. And there's a Racer's Ring. I um, think I'll take the Lackey. Just think that card's going to be quite good for us. Maestro's Initiate also quite decent. Mayhem Patrol looks good here. Over Revel Ruiner. Runer would also be good with all the lackeys, but uh, yeah, patrol still also quite good with our face breaker as we mentioned. And now, do I want to take a paragon as like a big flyer slash mana sink versus custodian as kind of an okay two drop? Arsonists, I don't think we ended up with enough sacrifice effects for it to really be amazing. And then Grifter could also be an okay mana sink. I'll take the Angel and try it out. Alright, so another Dusk Mangler could be okay here. Versus Public Enemy and another Paragon. I'll take a Mangler. 
and a nuisance now seems quite good with triple lackey to sacrifice to it. Should buy us quite a bit of time. Knuckles could also be a fun equipment to play around with, although I think our creatures are a bit too small to really benefit from double strike. Alright. Make disappear could be playable. And I'll take a custodian. So yeah, it was an interesting draft. We kind of held on to black pretty early, and then we kind of had to decide whether to go more in blue or more in green. And uh, I think finally we could potentially splash a couple cards in a fourth color, but I could see just blue, black, red being good enough. So I don't think I necessarily want the green cards. So let's take those out. Certainly no lack of playables. Yeah, Pinion's probably not as good in Grixis compared to Junt, where we have larger green creatures to attack with. But a nice bit of card advantage, some good removal. Yeah, this deck looks okay. So we gotta make quite a few cuts still. Probably don't need the Riveteer's Overlook at this point. And... Yeah, I guess maybe I can still play one. It's just a... Black Red tap land. Because we do have blue we want early, black we want early, and red we want early, so... I guess a mana fixing from Outlaw could also come in handy there. What don't we want? Probably don't need Sticky Fingers. Ominous Parcel is additional fixing, potentially. Liking a little chat with Triple Lackey. Make Disappear, can take it or leave it. Court Official's good, Custodian... Eh, not a card I want to sacrifice, necessarily. So maybe it doesn't fit into our game plan. And then we'll separate our removal to have a better idea what we're working with. Double murder. And then for card advantage, we have dig up the body, case the joints, and then big score to an extent, which is also great at ramping into Dusk Mangler. Nuisance just to buy time. And then we can still activate Initiate with black mana. So, yeah, don't hate the look of this. So this is kind of card advantage. So playing both copies of Big Score is good if we want to play Dusk Mangler. Can discard Lackey, so even if I don't cast it turn one, it's still fine to have in our opening hand, potentially. And then, in terms of removal, a light em up might not be necessary, since casualty 2 is not enough to sacrifice Lackey. So, yeah, that might be a card I can cut. And then take over, scan of a removal spell 2 in a way. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking all these one powered uh, creatures to sack to casualty or to discard to connive. Paragon, maybe not necessary, although it is a big flyer to help us close out the game eventually. We have double outlaw, double dusk mangler as kind of expensive cards. So let's say we cut these how many lands do I have currently? 17 plus parcel might be a bit overkill. So I can probably cut one mana source at least. How good is Forge Boss? Don't have a whole lot of Blitz. Do have a couple casualty cards. So it's good, not great. So it could be cuttable too. And then... 
What else here? Little chat, dig up the body. And maybe case the joint is our weakest card draw effects. Would rather play big score to make some treasure. And then whack is probably main deckable, even though it's not exciting at four mana. So I need to make about four more cuts. The mana base is going to be interesting as well. So theater definitely getting played. Overlook, just a black red tapped land that gains a life. Uh, how many blue sources do I really need? Because it's okay if we don't play Lackey on turn one. And I do seem to have a bit more black and reds. That could be good early. Can take a look at our mana distribution here. Slightly more black. Although that's mostly from Dusk Mangler being double black. I guess Murder as well. So let's say we play something like this. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, plus a parcel, kind of ten black sources. That's not bad. We've got five, six, seven, kind of eight red. Leaving me with three, four, five, six-ish blue. We don't need a ton of blue. So the mana base looks good, uh, maybe can still cut a land if we're playing Ominous Parcel. Although we do have a pretty high curve, so playing extra lands is not a bad idea either. Then... The rest of my curve... Nuisance... Yeah, seems pretty good with Lackey. If we can play it early, or even in the mid-game. Do want to keep some amount of creatures, and then I guess Outlaw can always fix our mana too. So maybe the fact that we have double Outlaw makes me cut the parcel, and then we'll just go three color with double Outlaw's additional fixing, and uh, double Dusk Mangler as a curve topper. Can easily either sack a creature to it, maybe lose some life that we don't mind. And then dig up the body, getting back a creature seems great. A little chat, nuisance, connive, all great synergies with Lackey. And big score to discard it as well. Good removal. But yeah, still need to make three cuts, so this is tough. How good is a card like Mayhem Patrol, which is more of an aggressive card than a defensive one? Great with a phase breaker if we can get those early. Outside of it, maybe not the best. So maybe patrol doesn't fit into our game plan too well, as it's not the best blocker. Whereas initiate at least can gain death touch. Yeah, maybe that's fair. And then need to make two more cuts. Don't think I can cut any removal. Maybe Rooftop Nuisance is just not where we want to be. It is better in a more aggressive deck, I think, because it's sorcery speed, so we cannot really use it in the opponent's beginning of combat, which is where we would want to use it, ideally. So the fact that we have to play it in our turn makes it a bit better if we're trying to apply pressure. And I think our late game is going to be kill the opponent with unblockable fish tokens. Maybe just get one of our big heavy hitters down ahead of schedule. Maybe blow the opponent out with a hostile takeover. So I don't think we necessarily need Nuisance, even though it's great with Lackey. So last cut. Forge boss still a reasonable blocker. Goons we can play at 4 mana as well. And then I like having some top ends, especially with our treasures. Maybe one lackey could go. Although I think it's important for our game plan. 
initiate seems fine can trade off and then get value out of our graveyard even if we discard it paragon might be too slow although it is a good mana sink if we don't have anything else going on just a bit small to get started that's the main concern so definitely a tough deck to build so I'll cut the Paragon and then if we feel like we need more win conditions we can add it back and then try this for now. Okay, pick a nice sleeve here and let's give this a go. Okay, on the play and our hand seems pretty decent. Turn to go for court official. Can maybe keep the lackey in hand to discard to inspector. Yeah, I'll keep the lackey in hand, I think. Really hoping for a fourth land as we've got a ton of four drops in hand here. All right, didn't get there. Alright, can uh, sack our official to a little chat. Try and hit our land drop. And see, yeah, I'll take the land. And an overlook seems fine too. Play that now. And that'll shuffle back the murder we put on the bottom. Can grab an island with it, I guess. So, black or red. Take a swamp. Ooh, up Nixilis. Does this deal damage to planeswalkers? You work for me now, runt. Only creatures. That's too bad. Murder also doesn't take out Planeswalkers. So what's my plan here? I can play an Inspector, discarding Lackey. Can Big Score, discarding Lackey. Got a few options. Yeah, I think Inspector is probably still the play here. And that can hopefully pressure their Planeswalker. It's gonna get murdered. And we'll take two. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. All right, so how are we gonna pressure up Nixilis? Can make a fish, play Forge Boss, and then we can make the fish into a 4-4 next turn with Takeover. Although the one damage from the Devil can still finish it off. But I think that's probably still the play. And we'll have to do that now. Your opponent also maestros. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Okay, strangle does target planeswalkers, so that can deal with Obnixilus nicely. Can probably keep land in hand to discard at this point. Got a few options. But let me start here. See if there's any counterspell. 
And then I don't have to put my fish token in harm's way. So I'll just uh, send in the fish. And then we can maybe big score end of turn. Our opponents got their own card draw. I guess I might as well do this now. And then wait on the hostile takeover until our opponent commits more creatures to the board. Angel of Suffering. Okay. Opponent has 23 cards left, so now if we damage them, we would mill them instead. Also dies to takeover, so not really a huge concern. And uh, I guess our opponent got to see the initiate with case the joint. So what's next for us? Can hit for one. Set up another big score. I guess I could main phase it. Okay, so no shortage of removal. And then attack with our fish. Which may also be enabling some graveyard synergies for the opponents potentially, but we'll see. And then I can play Initiate, or I can keep it to set up Hostile Takeover so we don't lose too many creatures at once. Which is also reasonable. And I'll keep a Murder. Okay, Devil Attacks. So if I block with a Forge Balls, they can finish off my fish. I mean, I feel like the fish is going to die regardless to my takeover if they deal one damage with the Devil. So I might as well force the issue here. And then they might commit more creatures to the board that die to takeover. Alright, they also had a strangle, fair enough. And a windshield agent. That's a card we want to potentially target with whack. So the shield counter doesn't matter. Could also murder it, untap, take over. Although, let's see, four... Yeah, I'll have the mana to whack plus take over if I really want. Or I can just take over... And then play initiate, let them keep a 2-3 agents. And we can deal with it later. Probably can't afford to take another hit from the angel. So, sure. Artificial discard land. And a Girder Goon seems nice. Do I want to blitz it as a question? Would also draw a card. We still have some powerful cards left in our deck. So I think Blitzing is fine. And then Initiate can gain Death Touch. So that can attack past the Agent as well.
Oh, Bone's got a little chant. And we draw a card. What's next? Bone is still on six lanes. We have a lot more mana to work with. But uh, if we cannot turn that into an actual board presence, it doesn't really matter. Opponent pumps the contender, maybe for casualty purposes. Join the maestros making two tokens, pretty good. I'll hang on to murder, but probably gonna whack one of them. Ooh, nice. Mangler's perfect. So I can play that as an additional cost, maybe discard a mountain. Keeping my treasures in case we find a face breaker to turn those into extra cards. Put it with a structural assault in hand. Okay, pass it back. So I'll probably take four if they attack. Bonus stays back. All right, time to whack. And hit for seven. We have another Dusk Mangler in the deck, so good reason to hang on to a swamp. Plus your opponent could have another uh, court official making us discard as well. Cemetery tampering with 15 cards in the graveyard. So hideaway 5 gets to take a look at the top 5 cards to potentially cast one for free once they reach 20 cards in the graveyard. And we'll mill them for 3 every turn. So that could be scary. But our opponent is at 8. Incriminates, gets rid of a 2 2. Sadly, can't keep up the pressure. So, yeah, need a good top deck. But now another Mangler could be lethal. So one card away from enabling tampering. Do they have removal for Mangler? Let's find out. Deal gone bad to shrink it down. Alright, so that keeps him at one life. We did mill some pretty good cards. Murder and dig up the body would have been perfect with our lackey. But I'll play my own. And then we'll pass. And we'll see what the tampering has found here. Run out of town, bouncing Dusk Mangler, but we can put it back on top. And then once we replay it, our opponent loses for life. GG. Can also attack for one. Alright, so very grindy game here in the Maestro's Mirror. Alright, we're on the play, and hands a little bit on the slow side. Can always cast this for two mana just to find some action. I'll try it. At least our mana's good. Broker's Initiates. Okay. Still not really forced to cast a little chat since that doesn't really apply any pressure, plus we could always take it out with whack. Cabaretti courtyard, so put in maybe white, red, green. And there's murder. Got a bit of removal. I'm gonna try and hang on to this until we can find something to sack to it. 
For now we're hitting our land drops to get up to Dusk Mangler. Social Climber. I guess I can whack next turn. Or we can uh, Blitz Girder Goons. And then the 2-2 that's left over we can maybe sack to a little chat. Quite impressed by Girder Goons so far. Big score can also set up our Dusk Mangler. Strangle takes care of our 2 2. And Exhibition Magician can maybe make a token here. Alright, there's a Lackey. So we have options. I could big score discarding Lackey. And then maybe still cast Whack for one mana, killing the Initiates, which threatens to become a 5 5. And then next turn Mangler can maybe stabilize. That seems reasonable. Then we want to keep black mana untapped. And pass it back. So their opponent does have a pretty wide board if they have any payoffs for having lots of creatures we could be in trouble. The pugilists also quite good. Can attack past our mangler. So might have to murder it. Another lackey. Yeah, maybe I murder Pugilists and then I can jump with Lackey and sack it to a little chat. So we don't lose out on too much value. So let me do this now. And then I'll have to sack a treasure for the extra blue mana. So might as well play a theater. Pass it back. Could also trade for a magician. Although I wouldn't mind drawing with uh, our two mana instance. Strong arm might put counters on the magician. Goes on the climber instead. Well, in that case, I'll chump. Murder seems good. And what else? Face Breaker is a pretty reasonable blocker on this board. So I have options. I could play Dusk Mangler, make them discard their last card. And that could trade for Social Climber. I would probably discard a card since I can't really afford to pay for life. And then if they don't top deck anything, Dusk Mangler maybe trades for a Climber, and we take four. And then we can stabilize next turn. Or I can murder Social Climber, play Face Breaker, but then we won't maybe get any discard value from Mangler once the opponent is empty-handed. But playing Mangler is maybe riskier if they top deck removal for it, which is unlikely but not impossible. So close call. I think I go for Mangler and I guess I could just discard Swamp and keep the official since we don't really need the extra mana. Opponent had a Requisitioner in hand which they could have blitzed. And we'll see if they want to offer the trade. 
If not, we still have a murder in hand. So, I think I should accept the trade. Could also go a little bit lower. Take more damage. Now we'll just take the trade. Okay, Outlaw's good too. And, uh... Would also stabilize nicely. Or we can go for Court Official plus Facebreaker. Empty their hands. In case they're holding something we're afraid of. But it's just a land. And we still have double lackey in the graveyard. That can turn into fish tokens. Forge boss. Pretty good too. So... What do we want to do here? Don't really want to use murder, so maybe getting the fish token going for face breaker is good. And I can play forge boss alongside it. And pass for now. And we might get to see the face breaker's card draw ability now. So attack with maybe just a fish token. Not great if they double block Forge Boss, although I could murder, but I think I want to hang on to this. So I'll play it safe, just attack with a fish. Make a treasure. And then I could use this first, and then if we maybe hit a land, I can play that. Alright, it's going to be an Inspector instead. Can play that and then see what we draw. Ideally, another lackey we can discard. I guess we'll discard islands and then just make another fish. Alright, so we're building up a nice board. So is it time to get more aggressive now? We're still at 5, so that's a little scary. I guess there's a small chance our opponent has a depopulate in hand, but just hasn't found double white. So that's a reason not to overextend and keep the outlaw in hand. But... Uh, yeah, at this point maybe attack like so. And then, okay, if the Forge Boss just trades for Strong Arm. At which point I could also tank with the Official, but then they just maybe eat it with a Strong Arm. And it seems fine. Alright, it's gonna be a Torch Breath killing Phase Breaker. That works. Opponent takes the damage. So now I'm probably less concerned about a sweeper, otherwise they probably would have double blocked. So I'm okay playing outlaw. And yeah, both of these are excellent. Which one do we want to draw first? Dig up the body, can get back Dusk Mangler. Don't quite have the mana to play both in the same turn. But getting back a Girder Goons is also great, so I guess we'll dig up first. And pass. And uh, cast it now. And then we know we're milling something good, which we can also get back here. Forge Pulse also triggers, so get back Girder Goons, and Dusk Mangler seems fine too. Could get back our Face Breaker, a lot of options. And then if we attack with all, our opponent should be dead if they don't have anything. Alright, so 
was pretty close there for a second, but managed to stabilize and take over with our card advantage. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Lackey can be sacked to dig up the body, get our red mana here. Can uh, use the outlaw turn two as well. Opponent red black with opinions. Alright, now I'm probably interested in playing Lackey. So we set up our face breaker as well. And don't really need the mana fixing right away. And then face breaker into Girder Goons blitzed. Could be quite nice. Arsonist can maybe take out our Lackey. And don't have a clean attack now. We'll see. I guess a treasure token being sacrificed would be enough to take out our lackey. Midnight Assassin, 1-2 Death Touch. Okay, so... Now what? They can activate this at instant speed if they'd like. Probably still going to Blitz Girder Goons. Could also keep up Dig Up the Body in case they try and kill Lackey, so I can get some value out of it. Which, you know, is not unreasonable. I think I prefer getting on the board with Girder Goons. And then, if they take the damage, we'll get a treasure as well. Opponent is Riveteers, so Arsonist can combo with Blitz. It's gonna be a Masked Bandits for now. So they lost their treasure, so the Arsonist not a huge threat at the moment. Bandits, 5-5 five, five, Vigilance Menace. Okay, so I can just play the Outlaw if I'd like, which seems reasonable. Or I could keep the treasure to play Dusk Mangler next turn. And then for now, play Initiate, keep up Dig Up the Body in case they try and kill Lackey. And we've got a Girder Goons to get back at the very least. That also seems pretty decent. Although I'll have to decide if I want to play the Tap Lands or the Untapped one. I guess I'll go with Tap Land, because if they don't try and kill Lackey, I would rather. Maybe play Dusk Mangler next turn. Can also just give the initiate death touch. Maybe try and double block bandits. We have options. So opponent attacks. Yeah, I guess just going for the trade is fine. They might have a trick since they didn't give it flying. Deal gone bad. Okay. Mills me for three. Did not mill any extra creatures, unfortunately. Right, so probably time for Dusk Mangler. While they still have cards in hand, and I can pay for life. Arson is down. Didn't really want to trade Phase Breaker for Assassin, so no attacks. Although, I guess if we do trade. Can maybe dig up a Dusk Mangler in the future and maybe make them sacrifice the bandits. Although we might be able to outrace it. Vigilance, I guess, makes it a bit more difficult. 
Um, yeah, interesting call. Maybe I do attack? Alright, opponent took it anyway, so we get a treasure. And then the assassin could stay back to block Dusk Mangler. While we take five. The fish token also a great combo with face breaker. So could attack with face breaker and then play outlaw, make a fish. Alternatively, we can dig up the body after maybe trading Mangler for Assassin to get the Mangler back next turn, which is also fine. So both of those options are tempting. I think just attacking with Phase Breaker and Mangler is probably okay then, and then if they trade, they trade. And then let's see, how much mana do we have total? I guess we have enough mana to play Outlaw and cast Dig Up the Body if we'd like. That seems good. And... Whack doesn't quite deal with the uh, Bandits. And I don't think we need an official, so I think we bought them both. And then I'll pass. So I can dig up, getting back Dusk Mangler, maybe Girder Goons. Opponent passes, so they only have one creature in play. Three cards in hand still, but maybe some expensive cards they weren't able to play. So Dusk Mangler is certainly one of them. And get back Girder Goons. And I have enough mana to play Forge Boss and Blitz Girder Goons, which could potentially present lethal, but Dusk Mangler seems slightly safer. And then I'll just discard an island since I don't want to take 4 damage or sack a creature. And they would have to make a token at instant speed, which they can't. And even if they do, they would still die to the menace and 4 damage. Awesome. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable draw. Especially if we can curve initiate into face breaker. Which will then fix our mana. Perfect. Opponent's got a newsy. So that can block our initiates. So maybe just play face breaker and pass, and then next turn we can maybe put some removal to use. Another Musi. So opponent's pretty serious about enabling their synergies here. Can strangle one of the Musis. So the face breaker gets to attack. And then we're not really adding any mana values to their graveyard. Then probably okay to exile the outlaw here. Pass it back. Could have potentially sacked the treasure in the hopes of finding a land, but if we don't, it would be a bit of a waste. 
Sanguine Spy is quite good too. So, deserving of removal here. Okay, so I can whack if I use my treasure, or we can murder. I'm guessing Maestros is not going to have a ton of huge creatures that don't die to whack. So maybe we'll go for murder to save our treasure for now. Could also sank the treasure to Facebreaker first, see what we get. But I think Spy has to go pretty much right away. And play Lackey. Or we can keep the treasures for later. Sure. So Nuzi close to having plus one plus one and lifelink. So possible we're okay trading for initiate at this point. Opponent with a rogues gallery getting three creatures back. Yeah, that's powerful. But no extra land drop, so we gotta leverage or board advantage here. And they discarded Crocodile, so that's going to help with their mana values as well. Okay, so what's next? Attack with both maybe now, and then I can maybe play the Outlaw. Opponent takes it. Could also use the Phase Breaker's ability, but probably no need for it. And then set up our next draw step, and a Girder Goons looks good. Keeping the land to maybe use the face breaker also reasonable. Alright, another newsy, so if they both gain lifelink we could be in trouble. Luckily they do not. Still 2-2. Two, two. So is it time to blitz? Attack with everyone. And then if they double block face breaker they would be dead, so that's not gonna work. So they'll have to chump chump. And our opponent's just giving up here. Alright, so... Yeah, they were definitely close to pulling off all their synergies. Multiple newsies. Seem quite scary to face. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty slow draw, although we do have takeover to potentially catch back up, and we've got reasonable mana fixing with a bit of life gain, so I'll try it. And then I can use this to get my black mana, and Maestro's Theater can get my islands. Or we can get double black for murder, although there's also the outlaw for fixing, so not too concerned. Opponent's got a Riveteer's initiates. We're just gonna fix our mana here. Next turn I could Blitz, and then set up our takeover on 5. Opponent Cabaretti it looks like. And a Social Climber. Attack, we'll get a tapped 2-2 two -two token, so we won't be able to block here. But we want our opponent to overextend, play another creature that dies to 3 damage. Although even a bigger one we can shrink down to a 1-1, one -one, 
while pumping the rogue up to a 4-4. Four four. Sawjack. That works. Okay, probably time to go for it here. This a 1-1, one one, this a 4-4. Four four. Nice 3 for one Next turn, play Outlaw into Dusk Mangler. Still have a murder in hand, so. We'll see what they come up with. Strong Arm, just a 4 5 here, basically. So we'll play Outlaw. And don't need more lands. And if the strong arm is their only creature in play next turn, they'll be forced to sacrifice it. Clean up crew. Pretty good too here. It's going to gain four life. So it's probably okay to play Dusk Mangler as both their creatures are quite valuable and then we can murder whichever one's left over. And I'll pay for life. All three modes are relevant. Opponent passes. So yeah, probably fine to murder, and then we can reevaluate. Or just kill the opponents. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Not the best opening hand, missing blue for Lackey, although if we pick up like a big score to discard it, ramp into Mangler, that would be ideal. And then we've got a murder for interaction, so I'll try it. Alright, still no blue. Nuzi could be quite scary if they've got enough ways to enable it. There's our big score. So I get to pass with murder up. And then big score, discard lackey potentially, sets up Dusk Mangler. Wait and see if they have a scarier three drop I need to kill. Alright, so do I want to murder Nuzi? Not really. So I'll pass with big score available. Take three. And a bruiser. Could be a disdainful stroke in hand, which could counter big score, but can't really play around it. Alright, is it time for Dusk Mangler? Looks like it's And discard a mountain since I don't want to pay for life. And they strangle discarded, so opponent's missing red. Opponent passes. Okay, so I can attack, double block, I could murder. And then take it from there. Our opponent didn't make a fish, so they might have a card draw spell here. Or some other counter spell. That worked. And 
and I'll make a fish. And the mangler can maybe discard the author lanky next turn, or we can pay for life at this point. Opponent sacking district to desperately find red mana. Alright, murder takes out dusk mangler at least. So do I want to play another Dusk Mangler when there's no creature to be sacrificed to it? Still applies a bit of pressure, makes them discard. I think it's worth it. And then at this point I'll pay for life. Just need a warm body to apply a bit of pressure. And we've got two removal spells to back it up. Discards Psionic Snoop. It's gonna be a Night Clubber, kills my fish token. Fair enough. So, Big Score can discard another Lanky. Attack for five. And uh, make a fish, keep up a little chat, maybe keep a swamp in hand to discard. And if they try and kill my mangler, I can at least get a bit of value out of it now. Night clubber attacks, I'll take it. And a nuisance gonna keep our mangler tapped down. Do we want to sacrifice it? Probably not. And opponent makes a fish. Alright, so fish can attack. And then I could take out the Night Clubber with Whack, keep up murder. Probably one more black mana. Still no red. Cut your losses, gonna try and mill me. Alright, so I guess that works. Do I want a little chat first? Because her opponent seems dead on board to the Dusk Mangler anyway. So sure. And then Forge Boss. And Girder Goons should do it. And the Mangler can attack for the win. Awesome. So yeah, our deck made it all the way to seven wins, only losing one game in the process. And as another reminder, all my patrons and Twitch subscribers have access to my limited tier lists with my up-to-date card ratings for all the expansions available on Magic Arena. And to quickly recap, I think one of the best performers in our deck was probably Dusk Mangler. Also having the dig up the body to maybe get it back late game seemed awesome. And then we definitely put our expendable lackey to good use between sacrificing it to various casualty cards as well as discarding it to big score. Seems like a great way to make use of the one drop. And then even Knife can discard lackey. And then of course having good removal doesn't hurt double murder as well as hostile takeover put in some good work, got to see our face breaker even though we didn't sack too many treasures to it, still a good way to generate mana. So yeah, quite happy with how this played out. Could have gone in a slightly different direction, maybe gone with a bit more green, as we saw that late jewel thief in pack one, but I think going blue in the end paid off. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.
I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.